All right, this is Boston 29 fi and I'm going to show you how to install a ice cream sandwich type ROM for the HP touchpad. And by a ice cream sandwich type ROM, what I mean is it has ice cream sandwich coating. So it is going to be faster than some of the ROMs that you have seen out there, like the Sanogen mod and the Exron. Um, this is the Exron ROM, and I'm going to show you right now. And this is the B2.6 bloat, de bloated, so it's bloatware free. There's not a lot of bloatware on here, it's barely any. So I'm just go home real quick, and you're gonna see all the apps. The only app I installed was Skype, but this is all the apps it comes with. So it's not a lot, it's not like the 2.5 version that has a lot of bloatware. This is the 2.6 version. From Xron. And if you've been keeping up with the Cyanogen mod team, they released Alpha 3.5, which has ice cream sandwich coating, even though it's running on gingerbread, but it's still some of the things still work. So there have been improvements. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the link. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, this is how the these are all Xron ROMs. So you can see this is the one I'm currently running, the 2.6 version. It's the same link all the time. They post new updates on here. So if you want to download it, you just click on it and it'll start downloading it. I already downloaded it just to save some time for the video. So I'm going to show you that I downloaded it. And it's in the download section on your SD card. You go to download. And there it is, Xronified B2.6. And I downloaded it twice because I was doing another a video. And then this is the the regular Sanogen mod 3.5 from, and the Xronified B2.6, it's way better than the Sanogen mod 3.5. Alpha build. I posted a, another video of um, a little bit showing you a little bit of the speed, like going to websites and stuff. And you can see that the one I have is way faster. So you want to go to Clockword Mod and hit the home button, which is the select button. All right, and you're going to be in the clockwork recovery. And you want, the first thing you want to do is hit wipe data factory reset. So go ahead and select it. And then you want to go to yes. So it's wiping everything. And the reason why you want to do all this stuff is just to eliminate the possibility of errors. You don't want things going wrong. You want to have leave little room. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I just did a wipe catch partition. And now I'm going to go down and go to advanced, select that. And wipe down for the catch. And another thing when you're, go ahead and hit yes. But another thing is, when you're installing these ROMs, make sure you have enough battery life. You do not want to um, run out of power and have something go wrong and possibly brick your device. There's Every time you do this, there's a possibility you can. So just the reason why I'm doing all of this, wiping all this stuff, is just the less possibility for the ROMs to have errors and the less possibility that your, ROM, your HP touchpad is going to get bricked. And if you're having battery problems, go ahead and hit wipe battery status. I haven't had any, so I'm just going to go back. And sometimes the go back disappears. If the go back disappears, all you have to simply do is hit the power button. It will take you back all the time. So let me see if it works right now. Yeah, it works right now. See? But sometimes the go back disappears on here. I do not know why. 
but you just hit the power button and you'll go back. So now you want to go install zip from SD card. Select that. And then the first already highlighted is choose zip from SD card. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And then you want to go down to download. Not downloads with an S at the end. Download. So I'm going to select that. And there are my ROMs. I have the regular Cyanogen Mod Alpha 3.5. And I have the de-bloated uh, Exron 2.6. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. And I'm going to select it. And say yes. There you go, Team Exron. And if you can see that right there, it's developed by the it's developed by Cyanogen Mod. Of course, I, I've said that in my past videos. I think I said it on this one. And the um Leo's right, however Leo's right, is the one that tweaks it. So he's part of the X, the Team Exron. And as you can see, it's debloated with a touch of ice cream sandwich. And by that, it's coding and probably just little things just to make it look kind of. But it's mostly just the coding to make it way better. And it's done. Install from SD card complete. So if it says anything else, any errors, just send me a message and I'll try to help you as much as possible. So... I'm going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to just hit my power button. See? So, and now reboot the system. So, it's the first one highlighted. So, just go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and click it. And with this ROM, I don't think it, on the first boot up, it doesn't take as long as the other ones. Just because it has less bloatware. And that's their new screen that they just made. It's loading. That's another one of your loading screens. Alright, so it's done. And when you see this, just simply click the top one. And when I first installed this ROM, this was like flickering on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Just simply restart it. And if you can't shut it off, you can just hold the power button and the home button at the same time. And you just hold it, both of them, at the same time. And it will restart the HP touchpad. And you should be fine. And then when it loads up, it'll look more stable like this. And you just go ahead and select the top one. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish that up. Click that. Skip. Skip. Next. And there it is. And you do have, I don't know if it looks ice cream sandwich type. The bottom bar, he changed it. Um, you can see. And everything is working. Let me connect this to the Wi-Fi real quick. Connect it to the Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to go... Since we just did a fresh install, I'm going to go right here to this website. And it hasn't been loaded up, so see how fast is that compared to before? Look at that. These are a lot of videos. A lot of video links that pop up. Still not done loading them. All of them. But it's fine. It loaded most of them anyway. So It's way faster than before. The browser. It's a overall uh, performance tweaks. Overall performance tweaks. You're gonna notice some things as you play. The more you play with it, that have been improved, and some things that have not been completed yet. But it's fine. It's running real good right now, and can't wait for ice cream sandwich. And this is Boss Dawn 295. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, subscribe so you can get updates because I'll post the newest versions 
on my videos. I'll put annotations or if not, I'll put it in the comment section. So subscribe for that. I do giveaways. Not sure what I'm going to give away yet. I'm thinking about something. I don't know. Um, any comments, ideas, anything, anything you would like to see. All right.